North to Grand Lake St. Mary's. We're featuring the state park that spans two cities, St. Mary's and Salina. With woodlands and wetlands, there's more to do than just lounge on the beach here. It's only about an hour and a half away from the Dayton area, but there's so much to do here. There's fishing and swimming and camping and hiking and so much more. Welcome to Grand Lake St. Mary State Park. When you hear Grand Lake St. Mary's, you might immediately think of the algae blooms or the safety warnings. It's time for a paradigm shift. The state park is filled with fun and adventure for people of all generations. We have a giant checkerboard. Even the park manager is a long-timer. He started working here as a teenager in 1995. I was on the cleaning crew, so we mowed, trimmed, cleaned restrooms, painted restrooms, stuff like that. I bring my kids here when they were younger, and we just spend the whole day out here. Carrie McCollum's family has been coming to Grand Lake for generations. In fact, since she was a kid, fishing with her grandparents. My kids are older now, so I got grandkids. So I'm bringing my grandkids out here. <laughs> now take a look at some of her family photos. Carrie's grandma and grandpa with their camper. The entire family gathered in lawn chairs on the campgrounds here. Carrie's son with his catch of the day. And her grandson Emmett with his first fishing pole cast in the water. And a picture of him enjoying the swimming beach. Grand Lake has been a staple in this family for generations. We fished around this whole lake, actually. And then, um, then our parents, of course... And then now me, and now my kids, and then now my grandkids, so. Splash pads right here. It's unique. You can tell it's more like ODNR because it has cattails. Grand Lake St. Mary's operations fall under the Ohio Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Division. However, the park maintains its grandeur with the help of several local supporting groups, including the St. Mary's Rotary and the Lake Improvement Association. Grand Lake has several public swimming beaches, a new swimming pool, cabins, playgrounds, and shelters available for cookouts and family gatherings. There's even a popular Gaga game area built by the Eagle Scouts. The way I've seen it played, it's one for all and all for one. <laughs> Grand Lake St. Mary spans both Mercer and Auglaize counties and is a man-made lake. It's 13,500 acre lake. Basically, it was an impounded wetland. At that time, it was 16,500 acres. But that was done in the early 1800s for the Miami Erie Canal. Grand Lake St. Mary's became a state park in 1949. There are 74 miles of shoreline with very shallow water. In fact, the average depth of the water is a mere 5 to 7 feet, which for Carrie makes it an ideal place to visit, introducing her kids and grandkids to a natural kind of free fun. The gift her grandparents gave to her so many years ago, a gift that's not just special for the McCollums. And it is for everybody in this town. We, we live our lake, and I'm glad that we're able to get back in it and have fun. Let's not forget about the hunting. The wildlife is as vast as the wetlands. Even bird watchers from all over the country are drawn to this area. Grand Lake St. Mary's offers something for everyone. Check it out this summer. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Letitia Perry, New Center 7. News Center 7 wants to see your community as well. Send us a message on our WHIO Facebook page so we can highlight your favorite spots in the Miami Valley. If you missed any of our previous Seven Seizure Town st stories, rather, or you just want to check them out again, check out our free streaming app, WHIO TV Now. It's a free download on your Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Smart TV. <laughs> And it looks like it's going to be a great day to get out on that water. Let's check in with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Chrissy Zantini. Good morning. That's right. Definitely take advantage of the first part of our Thursday when we are going to be dry and it's going to be hot enough to want to swim. You will want the umbrella handy, though, this evening as we'll see the chance for storms increasing first across the northern Miami Valley and then spreading southward later tonight. Water bottles, sunscreen, keep yourself cool and, uh, of course, stay safe in the heat that we deal with today. Our heat index is going to be in the 90s across the entire Miami Valley. Here's a live look outside early this morning in Salina. We're at 72 degrees right now in Dayton, 70 in Troy, and 69 in Arcana. Big picture here looking at satellite and radar. We'll have passing cloud cover at times, but you're going to get a decent amount of sunshine today. So this feature right here is our cold front, and that boundary as it drifts further south, that's going to help to fuel showers and storms. And then as it kind of stalls out this weekend, we'll have a couple chances for some more thunderstorm activity over the weekend as well. Temperature and
and heat index. That's what we're going to talk about and for today. Not only is it hot this afternoon in Dayton, we'll hit 88 degrees, but similar to what it's been like all week, we have a very humid air mass over us. So that high humidity is going to make it feel even hotter. It'll feel like 93 today in Dayton, 95 in Miamisburg, and the heat index in Xenia is 93 as well. Now the heat index is an actual calculation. It looks at how hot, how humid it's going to be and gives us a feels like temperature. When our body heats up and sweats, the, cool, the evaporation of that sweat is what cools you off. So when you have a lot of moisture in the air, that process can't occur. And I do want to point out as well that this calculation is done if you were to be in the shade. So if you're in the sun, it could feel anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees hotter today. Tonight we're going to drop to 70. We will have showers and thunderstorms spreading through the Miami Valley. And tomorrow more storms will be uh, in the forecast, especially as we go into the late afternoon. Here's future cast for today. We start off this morning. It is quiet. It's just muggy. Uh, but we're dry as we head into lunchtime. We get into the early afternoon, you see just a passing shower or thunderstorm. The better chance for storms starts to develop tonight. Here's 730. Here northwest of Dayton, up towards Salina, Wapakoneta, we could start to see some storms there. They'll spread south through about 11 o'clock. And you can see overnight a little bit of passing rain shower activity. Tomorrow morning, most of us should be dry. But as we head into the afternoon hours, especially late in the day, you see these storms start to redevelop. So Friday evening, we'll have to monitor those storms. And then I think we get a brief break early Saturday morning. The biggest weather impact from the rain over the next day or so is actually going to come from excessive rainfall. As I mentioned before, that air mass is so saturated that when we see these storms develop, just rings it out and can give us some flash flooding. So especially cities north of I-70, we've got that slightly higher chance that we could uh, hit the flash flood threat as we head through our Friday and Friday night. Over the weekend, we will be a little bit cooler. Most of us will stay around 80 degrees. I think we'll have a couple showers around Saturday and then a little bit more dry time will start to develop for us on Sunday, mainly just a pop-up threat. So more cities should be able to stay dry. Even Saturday is not going to be a washout for you. As we head into next week, our temperatures start to climb again with the chance for some pop-up storms on Monday. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's get a check on what you can expect as you head out the door with Sergeant Mark now. Sarge, weather-wise, it's quiet, just muggy this morning. Are we hearing of any other problems? You know, we've got a good start to the morning drive, Chris. You really haven't come across any issues with the freeway so far, so some good news there. A couple of minutes ago, I pulled up the cameras and the road sensors along this stretch of Interstate 70 from Route 68 in Springfield over to Interstate 75. We can tell you that it is clear right now, and you can drive 19 miles there in about 18 minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer in WHIO Team Traffic. It is 522 and 72 degrees. A summer staple is in short supply. The reason it's been so hard to find patio furniture during the pandemic. Several types of sunscreen are being recalled because they could cause cancer. The chemical found in these sunscreens that could do more harm than good. 